What is going on guys? All right, so today I'm going to show you how to open up your PS5 safely and get it all clean in there. So a bit of context, first of all, I've had my PS5 since launch, so winter last year, and sitting in this mode, it's collected so much dust in the last few months, so we're going to open it up and have a look at what it looks like. But also what you want to keep in mind is to know where the spikes are and open it in the right way because you can damage the spikes. All right, so to begin, what you want to do is lay it down flat like this. Uh, what we're doing is we're lifting up from the top side and with the left hand for support, we are going to slide it. All right, so lifting it on one side. What I'm doing is lifting it from my side over here. And at the same time, I'm slowly letting it nudge to the left hand side and it will pop right off. All right, and now for the other side. Just want to flip it over, back side facing you, and in the same fashion, you want to lift it from the wide angle here in the corner, lift it up and slide it to the left, using your left hand to support the pressure. All right, so you want to lift it on this side and slide it using my left hand just to, and it will pop right off. Perfect. So a lot of dust gets caught up in here as well. You want to clean that up, but we'll do that later. Whilst we're on this point, what I want to show you actually is the sides. So if you look here, you will notice quite a bit of dust gets caught up. Um, I took a photo before to show you, so I'll put it up right now just to give you a quick look at it. But in essence, what you want to do is look through these fans, look through the grills. So to give it a good clean, I got myself a, a microfiber cloth and I literally wipe it down. So you'll notice there are some elements here which pick up more dust than others. So want to give that a good clean of course you don't want to push it into the fan so be careful on how you're cleaning it up turn it around get a better look at it you can see some more dust near the cd tray so you're just going to give it a quick wipe give it a quick wipe this is the nvme slot for the m.2 which has not been released yet so we can no longer we can't use it at the moment and what you actually want to do is just get your finger go in between each grill You'll notice whilst I'm doing this, I'm picking up quite a bit of dust. So once we're good to go, we are going to swap to the other side. Again, you can see the dust usually picks up more so around the fan area. Um, I guess that's where all the action happens. So again, get I clean again outside so it doesn't push back into the fans because that's only going to do more damage to your PS5. Again, give it a good clean. You can use compressed air at this point, or you can use a mini vacuum, but I prefer not to. Um, I do clean my PS5 quite regularly, or rather I will. So I, I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth to give it a good clean. So almost done. Again, little nooks and crannies here, which you want to just get inside of and give it a clean. Perfect. And got also the sides. So once we're done, what we're going to do is just put it back together. What you can also do is get a clean toothbrush and just wipe down the sides. You can see actually it does, it's, a, it's much easier using a toothbrush. What this does is gets into those little areas nicely to remove all the dust. You can probably see the dust flying out at this point. Um, so once we're done on that side, once we're happy with that, give it a quick excess wipe looking in a much better condition than it was all right perfect now let's put this bad boy back together all right so now we can put the face paste back onto the playstation 5 it's actually an easy process all you're doing is lining it up in the same fashion uh so cd drive into the corner look it sits sits perfectly all you want to do now is this is the top side so for reference so we're pushing in and we're just sliding until you can hear a satisfying click hear that perfect all right, turn it over. For this side, what I like doing is looking at the PS logo. So aligning it with the bottom corner in the same way, just setting it down. Again, it fits perfectly. All we're going to do is slide to the top of the PS5. And again, you should hear a click. Whilst we're here, I'll show you how to put on the stand back on. So I leave mine laying down flat. So Sony has made it quite easy for you to align it perfectly. So if you notice here, there are the square, triangle, circle and X's uh, nicely imprinted for you. So what you're doing is literally aligning it with the icons 
get it in there, push down, and perfect, we're secure. Put it back down, and that's it guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see more tutorials and more tech tips, please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much.